In an interview conducted near his death, after 83 years of a life full of abuses and addictions, American author William Burroughs revealed his secret for having reached such an old age. In good times I ride the wave, he said, and in bad times I would draw. In this trivial commentary, the also visual artist that some recognize as one of the brightest minds of his generation was bringing out into the open his personal technique for coping with the ups and downs of life, a routine of sorts that sounded more like a literary gimmick than a practical advice. What Burroughs was sharing with the world, inspired only by his instinct and his remarkable intelligence, was that erosion and destruction happened only when two objects were directly or indirectly opposed against each other. In other words, what he was saying is that having two opposing forces acting continuously at the same time would cause some parts in both to eventually break off, and that this might happen suddenly or over a long period of time. Friction is a force which opposes the motion of an object proportional to an applied force. If this effect were used to explain the lifetime of a machine, anyone would take it as a fact, with a similar result in human beings and a proportional physical wear in intense characters like Burroughs. But if this were true, the author of Naked Lunch and Nova Express should have been dead by the time of the interview, unless he knew there was something in the rules that would change the outcome of the formula. But, as everything in physics, in order for something to receive, something has to give. In fact, before becoming a non-writer, and after fleeing American justice and settling in Mexico, he shot his wife in the head when the two played a scene of William Hill. Most certainly under the effects of drugs and alcohol, it was only thanks to his family's intervention and the almost certain corruption of Mexican authorities that Burroughs could avoid having to write his novels and live his long life in the cold shelter of a prison cell. But life is generally non-judgmental and, like physics, is no more than a chain of actions and reactions. And from this point of view is that this case deserves to be reviewed. And that's exactly what we'll do.